to my channel welcome to the fourth and final video of the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe brushes vault collection series this isn't the end of the vault collection at all like me using it but in the sense of it being the end of this week so that means that we are done with the vault collection so this is the look that I came up with it's like a cut crease with glitter and a smoky lash line I don't know like this palette oh also, we're using the Ring the Alarm palette. This palette, there's so many different looks that you can do with it. Like when I think of this palette and I look at this palette, this palette is the epitome of fall. Like it is fall in a nutshell, super warm. It's just like leaves falling off and changing. It's just, it's just so pretty. And there's a lot of shimmers. So there's four shimmers in this palette that I could have done so many different looks with. And I wanted to do so many different looks with, but I was like, do something different. Like do something matte. Like don't use any shimmers besides of course a brow bone and inner corner highlight and just do something different. So I decided to not do like my half cut crease with the ombre. That's what I was originally gonna do, but I already did an ombre with the shimmers using the um, Bling Boss palette. So I decided to do something completely, completely different with all matte shadows and some glitter. So this is the look that I came up with and this is the look that we're gonna be doing. So if you are interested in seeing the fourth and final look in this palette series, then please keep on watching. So I went ahead and primed my lids and set it down with the translucent setting powder because if you guys don't know, one thing that I have found with using this, um, this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette uh, vault collection is you will need to set down your concealer in order for the concealer or the eyeshadows to blend like eyeshadows normally would. I don't think that it works very well on wet or tacky concealers unless it's a shimmer so if it's a matte shadow you want to make sure that you set it down so the first shade i'm going to use it's is mugshot right here and i'm going to be using a jh30 this has become like my new favorite blending brush honestly like i haven't picked up any uh like my sigma e40 or even the m 441 I believe it is I haven't picked up either one of those brushes lately this brush is just so large and so fluffy and in charge like it is just a super nice brush I love the love this brush so um, I was watching uh, face over matter I don't know if you guys know who Jalen is she makes such beautiful content like hair videos inspirational videos makeup videos she does everything and she was using the arm Armed and Gorgeous palette? Yeah, she, no, she was using the Dark Magic palette. And she was saying how, you know, she pretty much loves it, but she was watching Jaclyn Hill's video on that palette and how a lot of people were going in on her in the comment section and like she just didn't really understand it. Hold on one second. I'm gonna take Secret now. I'll finish my train of thought in one second. Um, and I'm gonna use the JH33, which is like the M44, M433 or something like that. Um, I'm just going to apply this into my upper crease in like a winged fashion. So keeping it really tight and also winging it out. But they were pretty much complaining how it's not really blending and everything like that. And she was just saying like how a lot of the people that like she wasn't like being like nasty or anything like that. But she was just explaining how a lot of people who are buying these palettes don't really understand how to use the palettes or how to use the eyeshadows like in the sense of like it's not that bad i don't want to say i don't think it's bad at all i don't think any of the palettes are bad at all but like a lot of people are complaining saying this is trash it's not blending this and a third but a lot of people don't know how to blend and a lot of people don't know how to work with eyeshadows now granted a lot of the reviews that came out um as far as the influencers they know how to do makeup so you know it might have just been bad batches for them or an inconsistent palette batch which shouldn't happen at all don't get me wrong but i feel like a lot of people are i don't know it's just it's just, a lot of people just don't know how to work with eyeshadows don't know how to blend it don't know how to say okay if it's not working on this tacky base let me try to set it down and work with them with a matte dry base and see if it works that way like a lot of eyeshadows especially some that are 15 dollars. this palette is 15 dollars. it's a more affordable drugstore brand palette you're not it's not an illamasqua or a mac or 
um, a Natasha Denona or a Pat McGrath, something that is super luxurious and super high end that is going to be the great, like the greatest formula, the greatest consistency, the greatest everything that is possible. It's not the same, it's not on the same um, platform or the same status, so to speak. So it's like a lot of people are comparing their eyeshadows to other brands makeup forever even like a lot of different brands and it's like it's not even they're not even in the same caliber it's not even the same thing it's a 15 dollar palette and i mean not a lot of 15 how many 15 dollar palettes do y'all know that work like really 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 great you know and also a lot of people are comparing it to her first palette which i completely understand it's from the same brand same person same influencer everything like that but i i don't know i just the palettes work for me they look good for me i have no complaints at all besides the shimmers could be a lot more buttery because in her original palette the shimmers were very 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 buttery but i mean what can what can you do what can you do when you're ordering from um a, 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 che a cheaper brand so to speak you know what i mean do y'all get me do you get me I don't think I'm being too crazy. Right now, I'm just going to cut out the crease. So I'm just going to take it from this inner portion all the way out and wing it out. And then drag it down. And I'm also going to set that down. Because I am going in with all mattes on this eye look. So I want to make sure that I set it down. So that way the mattes don't look patchy. Um, because they will. They will. So set it down. I'm just going to use a translucent powder. And just go ahead and do this. I'll speed through it because it takes quite some time. Oh, before I do that... <laughs> Forgotten to highlight my brow bone. I am taking the Dose of Colors um, I Love Sarahi Soulmate Highlighter and I'm taking the JH42 and I'm just going to pack that right onto my brow bone. I figured that I'd add shimmer on my brow bone because my eye look is all matte plus I like having a shimmery brow bone for some reason right now. I'm going through that like phase <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a little bit more mug shot and just blend over the edge just to make sure that soulmate highlighter is nice and blended into the brow bone now i'm gonna cut my crease Okay, you guys, so now I am going to take this really tiny definer brush. Um, it's the JH39. I'm going to take some more of Secret, and I'm just going to go right over the line just to fix anything that may have been messed up. And also just to darken that a little bit. And now we are going to take Rush, which is right here at the top. It is a lighter color. It is um, like, like a pumpkin color, like uh, a little bit lighter than a pumpkin color. I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush. It's nice and fluffy, and I'm just going to apply this at the top of the crease. And then wing it out out here and just pretty much pack that all over, keeping like that bottom half uh, free of color. I mean, I go down a little bit, but not like saturate it like I am the top. And then now I'm going to take the shade Framed, which is the maroon shade out of this. It's like a berry eggplant kind of shade. And what I'm going to do is take it on this JH40. It's a really tiny brush. I really like this brush. And I'm just going to first like kind of pack it onto the lid. And then I'm going to start to smoke this out. And I'm also going to create like a wing, so I'm going to drag it out and then drag it back. So I'm going to just continue to pack this on and blow it out, bringing it up a little bit higher. And you really want to get this color nice and saturated, so I'm not tapping off the excess color too much. And I'm also going to drag that upwards as well. So now I'm gonna go into Dark Magic and there's this really pretty dark, like brownish purple kind of color. It's called Mojo. 
And I'm gonna take that really tight to the lash line just to add definition. And I'm taking a JH43 brush and I'm gonna keep this really tight so that way it's a little darker. I was gonna go in with a black out of this palette but once I saw this color, I was like, perfect. So I'm keeping this as like a darker outline to this look. Okay, so now for the glitter, I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just gonna squeeze a teensy weensy little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to take this Pretty Bar angled eyeliner brush and go right over the crease. Now when I'm doing this, I'm gonna keep it on the bottom half, so on the orange side of the crease as opposed to the brown side where I normally would, so that way it fades like on the orange, if that makes any sense. So I'm keeping it on the bottom half so the brown isn't covered, the orange is. And I'm going to drag it all the way out and bring it down a little bit as well. And then I mixed two BH Cosmetics glitters. This one is called Smoky Gold and this one is called Spice Pumpkin. Perfect names. So I mixed them on this little mirror and now I'm just going to put them on my eye. And then now just to make sure that none of it is covering my smoky liner, like see how some fell down, I'm just gonna take the brush that I used and just blend it away. It's okay if it's on the orange, that's okay. All right, you guys, so now I'm just gonna apply some mascara and lashes, and for lashes, I'm gonna be using my More by Tiffany lashes. These are in the style Soul Snatcha. So these aren't very wispy, but they are very full across. So I'm hoping that I like that. So I'm gonna apply the, these, do my lashes and everything, or my faces. Can I talk? I'm gonna do my lashes off camera as well as my face, and then come back for the lips and also the lower lash line, which I think I might just follow the same steps and smoke out the lower lash line as well, inner corner, and then we will be done. So I'll be back in a second. All right, you guys, so I went ahead, popped on my lashes. I'm undecided if I want to apply this copper liner to the lower lash line or if I want to do just like a darker color. I think I'm gonna go with the copper. So this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Striking Copper, one of my favorite eyeliner, like, eyeliner formulas. This one, which is the Striking, or the, what is it, the Lasting Drama Gel Pencils and the L'Oreal, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, the L'Oreal. Oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? Oh, you guys know, you guys know, you guys know because I use it all the time. Oh, the Silkasimi or Silk Silkasimi, Silkasimi, something like that. The L'Oreal Silkasimi eyeliners. Those are some of my favorite too, as far as drugstore goes. I don't really have eyeliner like high-end eyeliners. I just tend to not spend my money on high-end eyeliners. I don't know. But I'm applying this into the waterline, super creamy, goes on really, really nicely. And then I'm going to, oh my gosh, my eye, eyes are fuzzy right now. One second. So first I'm gonna take Ring the Alarm with the same JH40 and Framed, which is the color that we applied on the upper lash line. And I'm gonna smoke that out and carry that out into the outer, outer edge. I got here where we were smoking that out as well because it got blended away by my concealer. And just connect it right out here like that so it looks smoky all the way through. And then just do the same thing over here. So now I'm going to go back into the Dark Magic palette and take Mojo again with the same JH43 and put that really tight underneath of the eyeliner. This is also gonna help the eyeliner to pop and then just connect that to this outer edge right here. So that way it has a distinct, like harsh line. Just 
I don't really know what color I want to apply into the inner corner. Wrong palette. I don't really know. Like, maybe... Maybe I'll apply it on camera? Because, like, either... Yeah, yeah, well, wait. Yeah, let's go with on camera. And I'm going to use the pencil brush for this. This is the JH38 pencil brush. And I'm going to take on camera, which is like a golden kind of color. And just pop that into the inner corner. I wanted something a little bit more like champagne, less like golden. So I think I'm going to go over it with the highlighter that I use, just a teeny weeny bit. Yeah, I'm going to go over it with the highlighter that I use, which is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Face in the shade, oh my gosh, what is this called? Just this highlighter. Yeah, just this highlighter. It looks like this. And I'm just going to pop that like right over it. Yeah, that gives me more of the, of the desired effect. Okay, you guys, so for lips, I'm going to take this um, CoverGirl Melting Ma Melting Pout Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade Black Talk, or Back Talk, I'm sorry, Back Talk. And I was thinking of doing this to go with the liner, but I think I actually might need something a little bit darker. Like, just a teensy wincy little bit darker. I could go in with, like, a nude, but I've been doing nude with all of the colors, so I was like, do something different, Lon. Step out of your box, stop being basic. So I don't know if I want to do matte or if I want to do glossy because this is the Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss. It's pretty dark, but I think I should stick with the all matte. So first I'm going to take Never Say Never liquid lipstick and then I'm going to put Back Talk like over the top. I'm just going to use this as like an outline and to make it a little bit darker if that makes sense. All right, you guys, so I ended up mainly just going in with Never Say Never because I felt like back talk was just a little too light and it wasn't showing up as much. So in that sense, Never Say Never really up this look. It made it super, super, super vampy and super fall. And like, as I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, bitch, you fucking did that. Yes, Lon! <laughs> Oh my gosh, like seriously, I'm like looking in the viewfinder like, wow, this is probably the best look that you did out of this entire series. Like I would say this look and then the bling boss look and then the, um, oh, I need to, and then the armed and gorgeous look and then I think uh, dark magic is probably my fourth favorite look, but like this look right here, this look right here, bitch, like this, this, this is it, this is it. I, where's my mic? mic drop <laughs> so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this series i actually enjoyed myself thoroughly with this series i'm creating four different looks out of four different palettes completely different palettes um I, I i loved it i mean the palettes worked very very well for me as i keep reiterating as long as you set the set your base your eyeshadow base or your concealer or whatever it is that you use to prime your lids as long as you set that down then you will have no issues at all with blending these shadows um out um like I said in last in yesterday's video, take your time when blending out these shadows, especially if they aren't like this. The, these are the easiest eyeshadows to formulate. The plums, the purples, the uh, warm transition shade, like the reddish, the orangish, the brown shades. Those are the easiest ones to create. But when you're using, um, say, Bling Boss or even Dark Magic, you want to be a little bit more careful, blend out a little softer, maybe not saturate your brush with the pigments and with the eyeshadow, don't swirl in, you know, maybe um, pat in and then tap off the excess and then blend in and work your way up as opposed to going in with a whole bunch of product, whole bunch of eyeshadow and then trying to blend that out. Of course you're going to, it's going to be patchy, it's going to be a mess, everything like that. But that is my personal opinion and uh, like I said, I ordered these off of Morphe's website and I ordered them as soon as excuse me, as soon as they were released the second time. So I didn't receive them in PR, um, but the launch date a few weeks ago is when I bought them. So I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased with them. I don't have anything bad to say except for 
you know you needing to set them down but keep in mind you guys these are $15 each palette um, and a total of $50 for the bundle of four and you're also ordering them from Morphe so Morphe is a little bit more of a uh, I don't want to say like drugstore but a lot lower end of a brand as opposed to uh, the makeup forever is the Bobbi Browns the Natasha Denona the Pat McGrath like those palettes that you buy you know you're gonna get your money's worth you know they're gonna be great because you're paying a substantial amount of money for those palettes now these palettes you, you're paying 15 bucks you know you can't really be upset at a palette not working up to other palettes and other brands um, um, bars if they're so cheap if that makes any sense I hope I'm making sense I really hope I'm making sense because I think I'm making sense but I might not be making sense but I hope I'm making sense <laughs> Anyways, I'm done with this video, done with the series. Let me know if you guys want me to do a two look, one palette video um, because there's so many other looks that I could create using these palettes and I really want to kind of do that. So let me know if you want to see that. Like I could do, uh, I could use like Diversion and Mojo and then I could use like Power Cut and Busted and just do like one eye, one eye and then, you know, you get two different looks one tutorial and one palette so let me know if that's something that you guys want to see i was thinking about doing that uh next week because i'll be going on vacation next friday i'll be leaving for michigan and then that following wednesday i'll be going to hawaii so i'm trying to figure out like how i'm gonna go about like filming and uploading but let me know if you want to see the two palettes one looks using the jaclyn hill morphe brushes palettes i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe before if before you go, if this is your first video you've seen of mine, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe before you go. I love you all so much and I'll see you in Monday's video. Bye you guys.